What is going on everybody? So I hope you've been having a good time with the ROG Ally, I know I have. And there have been the occasional ups and downs with the handheld, like any gaming device out there. There will be some complications when configuring your inputs for specific games, emulators, launchers, or anything of the sort. And the ROG Ally is no stranger to having mixed configuration for certain applications, especially in docked mode. And when it comes to controller configuration apps, I specifically like to use one and it's called Rewast, and that is R-E-W-A-S-D. And yes, it is an application that can effectively make your controller into a keyboard, an Xbox controller, PS4, anything you want it to be, as long as you can connect to Windows through Bluetooth. And to me, this is probably the best controller companion app or controller configuration app that I've ever used for Windows. And no, this isn't any kind of sponsorship, but in order to get just the basic features, you need to spend about $7, and that's $7 per PC. But the great part about that is if you're not using it for one PC, you can relinquish the license and restore it back on another PC. And that's exactly what I did with my old Asus gaming laptop. I had rewast on it and I was playing all sorts of third party and emulated titles. And when the Steam Deck was coming out, I really wanted to reactivate my license or get another license specifically for the Steam Deck. But it seems like rewast isn't going to be supported on Linux either for quite some time or definitively. And that's a real shame. Besides Steam input, which is pretty much a godlike input, Rewast kind of matches up to it in some aspects. But they're pretty much neck and neck, in my opinion. And of course, Steam input is a lot easier to use because you can just control it with the actual controller. But with Rewast, you need to use a mouse and fiddle around with settings here and there. It can be slightly complicated, but you can do a lot more things, especially if you get the later licenses. So yes, you do have to pay for it, or if you just want to use the trial version for a couple of weeks, you can do that too, to try and see how it is. I don't think $7 is much at all, especially for what you're getting with this application. And on the ROG Ally, of course, the handheld PC runs Windows by default, so it works natively with Rewast. And when it comes to the application on RG Ally, you can actually customize every key and every selection to whatever you want. And that includes hotkeys and things of that type. But yeah, I'm going to kind of talk about my experience with Rewast on the RG Ally. And for the most part, I use it for pretty much everything. I customize the controller so that when I switch it to a different mode, it works with desktop mode, just like Steam Input. And surprisingly, Rewast is a lot more consistent than Steam Input. Sometimes I deactivate the controller and reactivate it and for some reason Steam Input just doesn't pick up my controller on the ROG Ally. Not sure if Valve is sabotaging Steam for Windows nowadays, but for some reason Steam has been a little finicky as of late. But it's alright because I have an application like Rewast to pick up the pieces. And pretty much I use it when playing any kind of title, including older titles. So older titles, for the most part, are compatible with Xbox 360 controllers. And there aren't a lot of people nowadays that have wireless Xbox 360 controllers. So Rewast can actually reconfigure your Xbox Series X controller or Elite or whatever you want to an Xbox 360 controller to work natively with those older titles. And Steam picks it up as an Xbox 360 controller as well. So if you have any older games like Catherine Classic or if you're playing a game like Time Shift, then using Rewatch to reconfigure your controller to an Xbox 360 controller will help a great deal. And it's helped me a ton, specifically while playing third party games. But besides that, there are a lot of different emulators that I switch over my controller on Rewatch to be more compatible with. And that's including Xenia. For the most part, when I switch over my PlayStation 5 controller or Xbox Series controller to an Xbox 360, it just works perfectly with Xenia. Sometimes when you use a different controller, Xenia just doesn't pick it up. So using Rewast to switch over to Xbox 360 makes everything a lot simpler. And there is a reason why Steam input is very important. When it comes to those games that just do not support controllers, applications like Steam input and Rewast help you to reconfigure your controller to whatever you need so you can play those PC exclusives that don't support controllers natively. And it's pretty much the same thing as Steam Input. You can mess around with dead zones, change your trigger from analog to a hair trigger, and just make anything into a hotkey if you want to. That along with Armory Crate makes for a ton of customizability. And surprisingly, all of the inputs on Armory Crate, Steam Input, and Rewast can work together. But Rewast gives me something that Armory Crate doesn't, and that is controller organization. So say you're using Xenia and you need to be 
player one in order to save your game. With Rewast, you can change around the controller order so that it can actually pick up on the first input and you can pretty much organize which controller is assigned to a certain input. That's something that I wanted on Armory Crate. Steam input has it, but with certain third-party games that I exclusively play on the ROG Ally so that I can play it anytime I want without relying on any network validation after a two-week period because that's the way Steam works apparently. A lot of third-party games work on the ROG Ally because it is Windows and those games are native to it, so you don't need to install extra DX updates or C++ updates through Proton or anything like that. So third-party games pretty much are just there with the already added support of Windows and all of its components. So I would buy a game like Titanfall 2, but I don't like signing in to Origin every single time, especially when I just want to play it offline. And if I'm in a hurry and I don't want to initialize it or use my hotspot, which sometimes doesn't work because the hotspot is not completely secure. So there are certain titles that don't work with hotspot and certain launchers, especially in Steam Deck that just do not pick up the hotspot. Even Steam sometimes doesn't pick up on the hotspot or just doesn't get the right validation to activate your game online before playing it offline. We've all been through that song and dance and I was just sick of it. So with a game like Titanfall 2, if I want to play the storyline, which I love, I just download a third party version of it after buying it. And of course, I use it exclusively for myself, but I brand it as the offline mode version. So if I don't want to play online, if I just want to play off the grid, like a lot of these van life people, then I have that offline version to play. And the RG Ally gives me that. But because it's offline and because it's not through Steam, I could possibly try to make it work through Steam input. But that's a lot of extra steps that might not pay off at the end. So I just use Rewast and I activate my controller as an Xbox One controller with Titanfall 2. And it works perfectly fine, completely offline and off the grid. And that's exactly what I wanted with the Steam Deck. And that's why, in my opinion, the RG Ally is just more of my kind of device. Because I don't have to consistently go online, get a shader cap cache update and if i cancel the shader cache update all the shader cache just disappears going through that kind of stuff just to play a game offline with a glamorous gaming mode the rg ally has gaming modes multiple of them actually and you can download different types of game libraries that work with your controller but in my opinion the rg ally just wasn't meant to be like that at least not yet and rewast helps with that extra interface to make game compatibility with your specific controller easier to accomplish so yes if you manage to get a third party version that's offline exclusive, then I do fully recommend Rewast. And that's only if you're not playing games specifically on Steam or using Steam input. Because Steam input, in my opinion, is good enough. But honestly, when it comes to third party titles and especially playing ROG Ally docked with an external controller, Rewast helps a great deal to just assign that controller to a specific slot so it's officially player one with the added disable embedded controller option on Armory Crate. It just makes docking the ROG Ally a lot easier especially if you're playing older titles so you won't have to worry if that specific game is compatible with the playstation 5 controller especially offline or without steam input and some games on windows through steam require steam input to be off and if the game only works with xbox 360 controllers and you have a ps5 controller but steam input can't tie those two ends together because you disabled it then an application like Rewast is something that could potentially solve an issue like that. But yeah, I do highly recommend Rewast for the ROG Ally specifically because it's not supported on Linux just yet. But when that time comes, it's going to be amazing and it's going to make the desktop mode experience for the Steam Deck a lot easier to navigate through. But for right now, Rewast is making my Windows experience on the ROG Ally essentially perfect, almost. There have been a couple glitches because of the resolution scaling. Sometimes you can't see all the options so there was a point where I was trying to figure out something for about an hour, but it was just the resolution scaling that was hiding a certain button from me to assign my controller to slot one. So it was kind of my fault and it was a dumb mistake. When I initially got my ROG Ally, the first thing I installed in it was Rewast because I knew that Windows is just a lot more accessible with that application installed. And I'm surprised a lot more people don't talk about Rewast because when I first discovered it, it was a revelation. Being able to play native PC games with a controller as a mouse and keyboard was just unheard of. And I was doing that way before Steam Input started implementing all of that craziness into the Steam Deck. But the main difference is that I'm more comfortable with Rewast than I am Steam Input sometimes. But of course, a lot of people are in 
search of convenience. And Rewast can be that to a certain extent. With Windows in a handheld form factor, you can only go so far. But yeah, let me know if you guys have used Rewast before, like I have, because I've been using it for a couple of years now. Actually, I've been using it for about five years. But let me know if you've been enjoying the application or if you tried it after watching this video. And if you have any questions regarding it, let me know and I'll try to answer as best as I can. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a good one. Later.